4 o'clock in the morning. Conversation out for We're heading to Alaska. Waiting at the hotel to get an Uber to go to the uh, cruise ship. Are you ready for it? I am ready for it. I'm excited. Yep, I am too. You ready for the cruise? Oh yeah. What are you most looking forward to? The pizza and a trip to the spa. Uh, Caitlin really has to get in first. It's true. It's true. You ready for the trip, homie? Yeah. Say. So we are on. What about you? I'm ready. So here we're about to check in. Me and my crew. You ready, honey? You ready, Brentley? I'm ready. You ready, honey? This is our boat. Boop, boop. You ready? Woohoo! <laughs> you ready, Bree? <laughs> so right here we just got everything checked in. The process was actually super easy. Been on multiple cruises, this was the easiest process to get in. Um, but here we are, here is my bunch all walking into our, well, we had to go to muster station first, but kind of give you a little tour. Here's kind of the main, I would say living room, I don't know, but the main center of the uh, cruise. Um, this way, that direction is to 270, like a little theater thing. Right here is Mount Rainier. We're still parked in Seattle. A beautiful snowy mountain top, as you can see. Um, just gorgeous. And right here is the, the main like area for shops. It's got the pizza place down there. Here's the wind jammer. That's where you get lunch, breakfast, if you don't have any reservations. Decent place to eat. Here is the main outdoor pool area, the outdoor pool. And it's got the slides for the kids. It's got two hot tubs out here. Um, the pool's super warm. Obviously in Alaska, it's pretty chilly, so you gotta have a warm pool and the hot tub felt just fantastic. Here's our little room. Uh, we didn't get a balcony, but look what you got there. Yep, you got, there's a camera on the front of the boat uh, that's live 24 seven. So right now during summer solstice, there's only, in Alaska, there's only four hours of nighttime. So anyways, that's the first, that's, this is the bathroom here. And it was pretty spacious actually for a, uh, for a cruise ship. Uh, I didn't have any problems, me or my wife, neither one had it. This is our first meal on the boat. It was a crab cake. It was very good. That spinach dip, delicious also. Um, this is one of my favorite meals of the whole time. Though. But here is in the music hall. And uh, that's my wife down there just dancing away. But it was kind of a nightly hangout, just where we all met up and hung out. It was pretty cool. So this is where we get in the hot tub sometimes. is the indoor pool uh, in between the outdoor pool and the solarium. But it was a pretty chill hangout. There's my beautiful wife. Um, we're just kind of walking around, looking around the boat. Oh, 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 This is the uh, rock climbing wall here. Kids or whoever wants to do some rock climbing can. So here's really interesting. It's a dodgeball tournament. They have it twice the two days you're at sea. It was fun. We came in second. Oh, well, but it was a good time. So here's a gorgeous view as we eat dinner the second time. I actually got some uh, snails, some escargot. So here's my mother-in-law trying it out. Check it out. Yeah. Are you live? I like it. Eat the Chew it. Chew it. Yeah, it's good. 
Thumbs up. So she gave it a 10 out of 10, and I liked it too. So here's a music hall, and right here is a casino. My beautiful wife taking some pictures with her sisters. Uh, casino was cool. Here is where you go and you watch shows. Well, they had some excellent shows there. So this is our first stop of the cruise, and it is Ketchikan, Alaska. Woke up, came and got a coffee, me and my wife. Got seats right by the window, beautiful views. Planes taking off. Right here's a video of a plane taking off, and you see this 24-7. They're landing in the waters. You can see bald eagles from the ship. You just got to look close. I got a knife for it. My wife doesn't. But you can see the city looks pretty sweet here. So we're about to get off the ship at Ketchikan, Alaska. We don't have any excursions planned, but we can all walk around the city and see what they got. Get some salmon. No. No, she's pregnant. Get some chicken for her. We're in Ketchikan, Alaska. About to get on a Alaskan uh, wildlife tour. It's gonna be a good time. Got the whole squad here. I actually saw it, got a good sight of it, was like 27 of the funeral. And then it got a lot of nice boats out there. You'll see. About to head and see some wildlife here in Alaska, Mike. Guaranteed to see a bear. Yeah, and see grizzly bear, ducks, bald eagles, and, uh, and a pretty woman. <laughs> so this is where the wildlife adventure took us to a little beach with a lot of scenic views and a lot of bald eagles check it out here's a bald eagle and here's another one here's another one there's two baby bald eagles oh hello here we are in the wildlife of alaska your host nigel we got some wild cranes look up here they're bald cranes <laughs> they're beautiful, they're beautiful creatures, but uh, we're not going to aggravate them right now. I might climb up there later though and pet their little bald train heads. Okay. We'll see how many skips I can get out of this rock. Okay. You gotta zoom in now. Oh, okay. No, I mean, follow it. I'm watching. Follow it. Okay. See what I got. I think I still got it, but I don't know. So here we are on the tour. We are still in Ketchikan, Alaska. It's a beautiful place. This is a cheaper tour. Um, we didn't go with Royal Caribbean. It's 50 bucks. Um, once you get in Ketchikan, just go to the visitor's office and book your trip. But you can see some bald eagles. There's bald eagles everywhere here. There's like five right here. Here, check them out. There's two right there. Here's my squad. There's one right there. Uh, let's see if we can find some more. Uh, I did see one over here somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh yeah, there he is. There's one right here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Beautiful. That's America right there. Oh, there's some bald eagles you know, flying I, around. Everybody says my smoke fish is okay. I don't even know the way it's going to do it this time. I, I have it. Go pack up. So here's another stop on the wildlife oh. tour. And it's just a little waterfall. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not huge enough. It's cool. Right here is the actual city of Ketchikan. Bless you. And it's a pretty cool little vibe. Here's the harbor. You can see our cruise ship, Ovation of the Seas. Harbor's pretty. You can see some fish and some salmon running around through here, too. Um, well, we got that in breath count. 97.3 WJSN. There's a nice transmitter right there. Yeah, it's a little stormy here. Here I am in uh, Catch a Camp. Catch it if you can. Uh, it's a pretty cool place in Alaska. Just got off the of Royal Caribbean. Of the seas. It's kind of got like a Switzerland vibe here, and it's raining. 
can't tell. Maybe you can, I don't know. But it's raining a little bit. Light mist. Uh, but yeah, we've had a good time so far. We're on like a little wildlife tour. I've yeah, seen some bald eagles. There's bald eagles everywhere here. Um, seen some salmon. Salmon runs going on right now. But yeah, it's a great time. So we're back on the boat from Ketchikan. As you can see, it's in the background here. Beautiful little town. Salmon capital of Alaska. And we had a good time. Beautiful. It's got a little rainy, but it is a rainforest. But right now, me and Kate's about to go. I think I'm going to try to surf a little bit and see if I can do it. So if you're ambitious and want to get up in the mornings or evenings or whatever and run, they got a track around the whole top of the boat, as you can see here. And it's a it's a nice little track. Um, I do see people running on it in the morning, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, if that's what you're into, then there you go. So here we are, me and Caitlin on the front of the Ovation of the Sea, parked at Catch You Can, Catch It If You Can. Uh, beautiful scenery look out here you got other cruise ships you got the mountains it's about 60 degrees out right now so not too bad but good start. it's a good start here we are in Gatlinburg Tennessee on uh, Lake Douglas this cruise ship here so we was just in the hot tub great time we're leaving Catch If You Can and uh, heading to Skagway. Uh, right now I'm about to go see if I can surf a little bit. And I'm going to go watch. And she's watching. So we'll see what I got. So they never let me surf because you got to be like an advanced surfer or something like that to do this time at night. And I didn't ever go in the morning, but I, I watched some good surfers out there and got a good view of the back of the boat. So it was pretty cool still. So here I just happened to walk out of the boat and seen a blowho of a whale. You see oh, it right there? there? Oh, that's pretty cool. Right from the cruise ship. Didn't have to go on no whale watching adventure to see that one, so it was pretty sweet. We're out here looking for whales. Uh, no luck yet, but uh, we're still searching for these calm waters of Alaska. Uh, maybe we'll see one in just a minute and we'll let y'all know. That's a lot for love. So we're about to arrive in Skagway here in a few hours, but uh, we woke up this morning and surrounded by beautiful mountains on each side of us and the water's like kind of green here too. So it's pretty cool. So we're, we are going from Ketchikan to Skagway right now. And I think we're close, so like a, maybe an hour away or maybe even closer, I'm not sure. But I think we're gonna do a little tour in Skagway, but we're right now we're just looking for some wildlife. I seen a whale last yesterday. So, if we can see something cool, that'd be sweet. Oh, really? Are you thinking of As you're going into Skagway, if you get out on the balcony, you can see some pretty cool looking waterfalls. There's multiple waterfalls and there's snow covered mountains. So as you're going to Skagway, I would advise you to just go on the top deck if it's not too cold for you. Uh, or if it is, just cover up, take you a coat or whatever. But here's another beautiful mountain and a beautiful waterfall. 
and it's just gorgeous going into there so definitely definitely you want to be sightseeing right now you might see some cool wildlife um, but definitely you'll see some waterfalls and here is Skagway the port as you see the snow cover mountain there there's two more crews so here we are just got off a shuttle in Skagway Alaska uh, you can kind of see it's a pretty cool town here um, we got an excursion planned I think at three just for like a tour around the uh, the city ghost tour or something and you can hear the train we might take a train ride we're not sure yet but it looks pretty cool it looks kind of scenic but we'll see Stopped and got some ice cream. It's this delicious. little shop. It is delicious. Give me a toast. <laughs> so here's the railroad tracks. We're about to get on the train. And as you can see, this railroad's a little different. It's not the width of the gauge is not 56 and a half inches. So I've never seen that before. The standard in the whole world is 56 and a half. This is what maybe like 48 inches wide, I don't know. Is it safe? It's, it, might, it might be safe, I'm just a little confused. That it's not 56 and a half, but it's cool. Check it out. So we just got on the bus here. We're about to head to the top of the hill and get on the train. We are excited. I think we're gonna see some snow. We might see it. Absolutely. We might see it gracefully right here. Oh, great wash. Wow. Oh, okay, so we've about made it to the top, top of the mountain. You go 3,500 feet above sea level. You can see the clouds. We're up here pretty high right now, and we're about to get off and uh, board the train and head right back down the mountain to Skagway. And maybe we'll see something cool on the way down. The scenery on the way up was beautiful. As you can see, this like turquoise looking uh, water here, it was beautiful. But I will say, don't buy the train ticket on the ship if you want to save some money. Because it's like 350 bucks on the ship. If you buy it at the port, we paid $152. Of course, it's 2023. If you're watching this two years later, I don't know if it'll be the same price, but that's a tip. So to do this excursion, you actually have to go to British Columbia, Canada. That's where you start, then you go down into Skagway. So we just got off the uh, the bus. We're at the top of the mountain. We're overlooking some kind of water. Is that what is that? The Yukon River, maybe. Yukon River. Not sure, but the Canadian Mountain. Uh, yeah. Great so plus the most beautiful sight you'll ever see today. Yeah, it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are going to hang out here for like I think maybe 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's very beautiful. So it's it's kind of like the think of Alaska even though we're in Canada that's what you this is what you think of they're laughing at me that's all right but yeah Four skips from yesterday. Wow. So yeah, we definitely got an awesome view here. It's so beautiful. But uh, I would just, I would book the train ride just to come up here. My goodness. So here's my beautiful pregnant wife. We're having twins, if you didn't know. Boy and girl. All right, here we are, about to board. About to board the train. So. Ready? You pumped? Yes. We just made it on the train. Nice, comfortable seating. And uh, I'd say it'll be like 30 minutes before we go back down the hill, but maybe we'll see something cool. Ain't that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's an urban legend about the train gauges I was talking about earlier. And it is, they got the gauge from the width of two horses, but pulling the carriage. And that is from the Roman Empire. And the thing is, the, the carriage's tires or wheels were 
56 and a half inches and if you came to Rome in a carriage that didn't have wheels that were 56 and a half inches you would be in the ruts and it was totally your carriage so interesting thing. Alaska on the train. It's awesome. Views are great. Yeah, it's it's been great. I mean, look, it's just breathtaking views and everything. Uh, it's a must do if you're on. Ladies and gentlemen, you can begin to see our famous steel arch cantilever bridge. This bridge was completed in 1901 at that time. It was known as the highest cantilever bridge in the world, standing 215 feet from the valley floor. Clearly, we no longer go up title that ranks us up with the likes of the Panama Canal, the Eiffel Tower, and the Statue of Liberty. So as you heard the tour guide talking about the cantilever bridge, this was actually the largest of its kind. 1904, so that's pretty cool. Just made it back to town off the train. What did y'all think? I loved it. You loved it? What about you, Brie? Awesome. Just like every day. Views. Views were great. Highly recommend going on the train. Absolutely. tour i don't exactly know what it's called but i will let y'all know so when we got back in skagway we stopped at northern lights pizzeria and got some nice pizza and wings and it filled us up as you can see my wife's full there but here's a picture or video of it and it was awesome i mean it, it's some of the best pizza i've ever had seriously so this right here is where two oceans collide i'm assuming i tried to do some research and couldn't really find much but I, there's a very distinct line as you can see and this is leaving Skagway, going down to Juneau, but it was super cool to see. What's up, guys? So, we just left Skagway, headed to Juneau. But it's like 11 o'clock at night. Look how bright it is out there. And there's some snow on top of this mountain. It's so beautiful. But if you do come, make sure to pack some fall clothes. So this is about 5.30 in the morning. We just got up. Um, they told us to wake up early so we could see the glacier. And you could see the beautiful mountains. Um, as I record this, but I get a close up to the... It, oh yeah, by the way, it was super cold this morning. So make sure you pack warm clothes. It's very cold. Um, but you can see we're approaching the glacier. I zoom in right here. You can see it. I get a better view here in a minute, but you can see it going up the in the valley there. And the water's so crystal clear and got a nice green hue to it. But just super pretty. The mountains, the snow, the waterfalls. So here's another good view of the glacier, but you can be sitting in this hot tub right now, looking at these views in the warmth of the hot tub and just breathtaking views, just taking it easy and it was pretty sweet. So anyways, me and my wife got us a coffee after looking at the glacier. There's a Starbucks and the wind jammer. 
And we're just sitting by the glass window and taking it easy as we are on our way to Juno. Here's another cruise ship. There's about three cruise ships that stayed kind of with you the whole time. So they're parked when you're parked. They leave when you leave. So it's kind of cool too. But Windjammer not too bad. we are about to arrive to the capital of Alaska, Juno. And we are going whale well watching. So I'm hoping that we'll see multiple whales and uh, have a great day. And I, I'd like to even see a bear come out and eat a whale. Do you think we'll see any whales? How many? Times? How many? Ten. Ten whales. Wow. It's a whole Five. pod. It's a whole pod. You think we'll see orcas or humpbacks? I don't even know. Humpbacks. Humpbacks. Okay. From our analyst at Nat Geo Wild, Miss Nigel Huff. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we are. We just arrived to Juneau, Alaska, Royal Caribbean cruise ovation of the seas uh it looks prettier but we are actually going to go whale watching so we'll see what we can see hopefully we can see some whales i'd like to see a bear like i said probably some bald eagles there like crows here but it's really pretty here cool mountains they got a tram and it's one of the bigger cities what's well, the capital of alaska so one of the bigger cities that uh, we've been to for sure. Check it out down there. So we'll see what we can see and uh, I'll be sure to get it on camera. Do y'all think we'll see any whales today? No. We'll see yeah. a whale of a tail. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> we'll see the tail of a whale? The tail of a whale. You think you're gonna see 10? Oh, that was uh, Caitlin's guess. Mm -hmm. Brantley says zero. I say zero. Sherry I'm gonna ends. say one big major whale. We've got a major whale. What do you think you're going to say? Well, I tell you. I'm going to say three. Big Solid number three. Piece. You heard it here first. I want you to do... Um... <laughs> She's just so ecstatic that She's about to see a whale. She's, yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. So this is basically something you see every day. Bald eagles flying everywhere. Literally, they are like crows here. I've probably seen 30 to 50 bald eagles, but it's pretty sweet. America. So we just took a bus ride over to the harbor for the whale watching tour. Um, so we're about to get on board and see what we can see. So here we got a very good view of the Minton Hall Glacier. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not for sure. You can see it as a zoom in there, and you can see another one to the top right of it. We had some pretty good waves there. That's why I had to zoom back out. But beautiful views on this ride out to see the whales. Here's another glacier. I can't remember the name of it, but there's just glaciers everywhere in Juneau. So definitely see a glacier. Real cool. So this right here is super cool. What you're seeing, these are humpback whales doing a rare phenomenon called bubble netting. It's estimated that only 250 humpback whales actually know how to do this. This is not an instinctive trait. So basically, what happens is a whale goes down, they open their blowhole into to a bubble, and to kind of make a bubble net, and uh, it scares the schools of fish. Then they all come up and eat. So normally humpback whales just kind of stay alone, and but right here you see them working together as a team. Like I said, a rare occurrence, but you got it on video. I got it on video, so it was pretty cool. But this was just phenomenal. We've probably seen twenty-five whales, I would say, but this was awesome. You can I didn't I didn't realize the blow the blowhole that they done was that like high. So here's them coming up and doing the bubbling. Again, you actually see the birds fly over first. So you can see the birds fly over, turn, turn your recorder on and get like an awesome video of them coming up out of the water as you just seen and scooping up some fish. So another cool fact about these humpback whales is they go down to Hawaii for six months 
and have their calves, and they don't even eat down there. So they come back up here to Juneau, Alaska, and they, they're starving. As you can tell, that's a very long fast, but they're starving. They come back up here to feed. So he was driving back to the harbor, and you see some cool little sea lions just chilling on top of this float. And here they are swimming. They, was, they come up to the boat. They're not really scared of the boat at all. I think they said people feed them sometimes. So that's why when they see a boat, they just come on up. Come on up and uh, try to get some free lunch. So this is another awesome view. Probably the best view I got at the glacier. Um, you can just see how massive it is. Because we're, we're pretty far back and you can just see it right there. But man, it's just awesome. Probably see like 20 whales. I was the She was the closest. Like 20, maybe 25. I don't even know. Two thumbs up. So this was through Alaska Travel Adventures, and we done the one with the salmon bake. So here we are at the salmon bake. It looks so fun. It does. It looks pretty cool. Nice salmon. Check it out. I think so. Hello there. It's Nigel Black. We're in the cold waters of Alaska. Looking at the pink salmon. I might have to get in here and catch one. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello there. We're back and watching salmon run. Look here, it's August, so the pink salmon's running. You see them splash right there? Oh yeah, they're all over the place. This creek right here, which is awesome. And I got a cool looking waterfall in the back. Salmon all over the place. Maybe a big grizzly bear come down and say hello. Just made it back from the salmon bake. It was yummy. No, one. She didn't like it. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Now we are exploring Juneau, Alaska, the capital of the state. And our two most excited explorers are back here. Oop, they are right there. <laughs> There's a boat though. After we explore a little bit, we're gonna hop back on. So here we are. <laughs> Departing Juneau, Alaska, waving goodbye. So tomorrow we got a day at sea. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> so you just seen the biggest belly flop on the boat. We had a competition of that, and now you're seeing the volleyball tournament. My team, my family, my bunch yeah. got beat out first game, but there was a nice spike and nice setup. But it was fun. All right, y'all, we just arrived to Victoria, Canada. Give me an A. Uh, looks like a pretty big uh, town here or city, whatever. But we're going to go maybe downtown and see, see what it looks like. No excursions planned. Uh, but. Go and see what we can see. So, fun fact about Victoria, Canada. It is Canada's garden city. There's flowers everywhere. They counted 27 billion blooms in Victoria in 2022. Got a cool building right here. 
I don't know what it is, but. Got some horses. You can take you a horse tour if you want to. They're all over the place. Say hello to, oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, that's, I thought, <laughs> oh. I said there's like some cool cars over there. Nice, beautiful flowers everywhere. J-Rod. Steak. Mike, I lady here got to eat some fried lobster and some shrimp. I did get some shrimp too, so don't eat first. Nice. A burger for the lady. Salmon. Look at that. That looks delicious. So here we are. We just uh, got back in from Victoria, Canada. We're still here. You can see it. Oh, we got a great meal. It was very good. It was very delicious. It's probably the best meal I've had the whole trip. Yeah. But uh, we're laying here in the uh, Salibre, whatever it's called. What's it called? <laughs> Starts with an S. But it's basically the indoor greenhouse. Uh, we're just hanging out, looking out at sea, watching the sunset. Sorry, set. It's probably laying down by now. That's a good one. Bad joke. Uh, but it's been a good trip overall. Great trip. I think I would highly recommend it. And uh, I'm not sponsored by Royal Caribbean or nothing like that. Me and Caitlin both would highly recommend it. Yeah. Um, you get stuck like, like when I go to the beach, I don't really want to. I want to stay there. So a cruise isn't for me when it comes to the beach. But Alaska is a cruise place because you go to each town, you see wildlife, you get back on the boat, you eat, you do your thing, you get in the hot tub. So if I had to recommend a cruise, it would be an Alaskan cruise. Because the beach, I just like going there and staying in an all-inclusive resort or whatever it is. But it's been a great trip. I think Caitlin and the twins. Yeah. Yeah, the twins in her belly have enjoyed it. But yeah, we're enjoying our last night at the hot tub and just sitting in the Celebrium or whatever it's called. I don't know. But I'll see y'all tomorrow morning in Seattle. There's my boy. He's got the hurt ankle. Last morning on the boat. We got all our bags packed. We're eating breakfast, looking out at Seattle, as you can see. And it's been a fantastic trip. Um, I would highly recommend, but thank y'all for watching my video. I appreciate it. I will get to editing as soon as I get off the boat, but uh, it's been a great trip. Look so dogs is. hadn't seen us for Wait. 10 days, so here's their reaction. Wait. Check it out. What? What? Come here. What? What? What's my baby?
baby's doing? What's my baby's doing? Don't forget to like and subscribe on this video. Thank y'all for watching.